Okay, the question is regarding soft shut-in method. So, how do we shut in a well during drilling uh, when the lineup is soft shut-in? So, in the lineup, uh, we have got uh, HCR open and choke is also open. So, the moment there is a kick, what we have to do is we have to pick up and space out, then stop the pump, then open choke line valve, close the POP and close the choke and record pressure. So, how to do this? Let us check and understand first line up, how to line up the system and then how to shut the well in case you are drilling a well and there is a kick. So, the answer for this question is pick up, space out, stop pump, open HCR, close BOP and as company policy you have to uh, close annular or ramp and then close the choke and record pressure. In this section we are going to learn about uh, how to shut in a well when the lineup is soft shut in. So uh, this is in the case when we are drilling. So during drilling first let us see the lineup. So in lineup we already know that uh, there is a common lineup. So common lineup first uh, manual wall is open then HCR is closed, then HCR to choke line, all valves are manual valves, so this should be open, choke to MGS should be open. So this is common lineup, which is common for both the uh, type of uh, procedures. Now only one thing remains is my choke. So for soft shut in choke is open. So in my lineup, only one thing is closed, that is HCR is closed, rest all the things are open. Okay, now whenever uh, we anticipate that there is uh, the well is under balance, so in order to flow check, we have to follow certain procedure. So during drilling, what is the first step? First step is stop the rotation. Second step, pick up your tool joint uh, to clear the BOP because uh, the primary reason of uh, space out is make sure that uh, tool joint is not in the shear rim cavity because if well is uncontrollable then we have only one option to share the pipe and seal the well bore but in this case uh, if the tool joint is in the shear rim cavity so we won't be able to share the pipe that is the limitation of shear rim so we pick up and space out first consideration of uh, space out is the tool joint should be clear from shear rim Second, the tool joint should be clear from pipe ramp. Third, the tool joint should be clear from the annular BOP. So once the space out is done, then we stop the pump. Next step is stop the pump. So this is common for whenever you want to make a flow check. Now, once the flow check is confirmed that well is flowing, then as per soft shutting, we have to shut the well. Now, we have to remember one thing that uh, soft shutting is used whenever there is a risk of hammering effect or water hammer effect because whenever you close BOP, the pulse that is generated due to hammering effect will go down into the formation and if margin is very less, then that will break the formation. So, we don't want that pulse to go down. So, what we want to do is first we open the surface line. So, in this surface line, what is closed? The close thing is HCR. So very first thing that I do is I will open a HCR. So I open HCR. Then the well starts flowing this way on surface. So it is flowing through annulus and it is flowing through the choke manifold as well. Now I will close the POP. Close the POP. So when I close BOP, that pulse will be generated and that pulse will travel this way and it will go this way because in lineup, choke was already open so it will go on surface it won't go to bottom and it and the bottom is protected from that surge pressure okay so now the still well is flowing we have to close the choke now so once BOP is closed then we go in for close the choke so we close the choke and now now the well is shut so uh, in this case the volume of influx taken uh, will be always more than the volume of influx when you shut in with uh, hard shut in because the number of steps is more in soft shut in lineup. So let us revise. First, what we have to do first, we have to stop the rotation, then pick up the tool joint, then stop the pump, make a flow check if well is flowing, then first open at CR, then close the BOP. It may be annular or ramp, then close choke and record the pressure.